Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay very close attention to the video clip that you have just witnessed. That is a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum with an 8.5 inch barrel and compensator on the end of it. And she one-handed this bitch! No, 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 no. Mm -mm. She's scary as fuck. I know people who are six foot eight, three hundred and fifty pounds of southern cornbread fed don't fuck with this. Who grew up throwing two hundred and fifty pound hay bales over their head backwards into a fifteen foot high hayloft? Who can't two hand that thing? And she did it one handed? No, mm -mm. that woman's scary. She got more manliness in her big toe than I got in my whole body. Mm -mm. Fuck that. And before some butthurt people come into my comments going, oh, it was probably a light load, it was a target load, blah, blah, blah. Shut the hell up. That shit was scary as fuck and you know it. Even on a target load, that thing kicks like a... Everything had changed. Now I was a monster and I smelled people everywhere. I was still hungry. And to cross the water, the smell continued. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I got closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom, and he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again, and he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Stop! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible.
maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Stop it. I'm not gonna tell you again. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. That's the day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. At the door, she heard whispering. There's someone from inside the house. what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box, is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly and Calvin, maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom knew.